everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I just wanted to take this time out because I wanted to let you guys know about some really amazing ministries that have really helped me. Um, you know, I've been going through a very tough time for the past few years, as some of you might know. Um, but to be honest with you, I have been good. I've been really good. Um, and that's because of the grace and the mercy of God. And he has his ministers in the world who are sent to encourage his flock when we're going through times of tribulations. And trust me, like I wouldn't have been here right now if it wasn't for God's grace and his mercies and his ministries that he has implanted in this earth. For, to, for encouragement um, last last year yeah <laughs> last year I went off to school in a in, in the Caribbean and it was one of the most trying times of my life the slogan for my life at that time was I'm fighting for my life I'm in the fight of my life it was like the devil pulled out all the stops because once one I was doing something um, to better myself and I, I mean I was under so much oppression that I for me to have done that and to really do what I did it it should not have happened and you, you, the devil was trying to make sure that that didn't happen. But you see, when God has promised you something, no devil in hell can take it away from you. So I came out of that really good, and and you know I'm moving on. I'm I'm really happy. I mean, God is good. God is good. Like people don't understand that you could have trouble going on around you but you could still rest in the peace of God. And I guess the example that he gave us was when he was just sleeping and chilling on the boat and the fishermen were going ballistic because there was a huge ass storm. Excuse my language. <laughs> there was a huge, I'm saying, like, there was a huge storm going on and he was just sleeping like he was not even perturbed he was not woken from his sleep obviously it was a storm so torrential that it had the fishermen his disciples panicking and these are fishermen so they're used to being in storms i'm assuming but this one was probably so great that it had them panicking like crazy to the point where they're saying God, how could you be sleeping? Wake up, wake up, help us. <laughs> help us. So, can you imagine sleeping through that? I would probably wake up. I mean, because, but like, he was just sleeping through it. Because he has an assurance and he knows he is here, he was here on purpose and he wasn't gonna go anywhere until that purpose was fulfilled, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I guess the stories in the Bible and the things that God went through are stories for us to mimic in our own lives. And I'm talking about resting in the peace of God, it's easier said than done, and it's something that as mere mortals like you know sinners we have to keep working on it keep working on it every day it's not gonna come easy for us like how it came i guess easy for jesus you know it's gonna be like more difficult to make sure that we're resting in the peace of god even when everything in our lives are falling apart um so yeah back to my situation but you know it was a really 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 trying i social media is amazing um because you can reach people who i would say like before we had all this social media stuff 
the internet audience was limited as far as like how you could reach out to people i guess you could you know do it by emails and i guess ads there and there or something but now you have a direct contact a constant contact with people and ministries have taken advantage of that and that is amazing because trust me it, that helped me so much ministries being on social media ministry streaming online if you are not a member of a church you need to be getting fed the scripture says don't you know forsake the assembly of the lord thy god um but at the same time until you find a church home you should be getting fed um, through some sort of multimedia ministries and there are many of them out there the ones that I recommend and the ones that like I use and it, I mean they got me over and got me through is Bishop T.D. Jakes Ministries the Potter's House I'm an online member at the Dallas campus oh Bishop Jakes uh what a powerhouse and an exemplary man of God. I don't really have the words to describe Bishop Jakes, but I just want to say thank you to Bishop Jakes and his ministry for really being a solace for God's people who are going through tribu tribulation and just God's people in general. He feeds us so that we have strength enough to stand in this last days that we're living. And you could argue with me about being in the last days, but it is Bible prophecy and we're in the last days. Uh, Bishop Jakes, if you are going through the fight of your life, you can't go through it without Bishop Jakes. Just period. Secondly is Pastor Paula White. Pastor Paula White, I just love her. Um, she has such a sweet spirit, an amazing woman of God, but nonetheless, very powerful in that she is very introspective with her spirituality because she goes into spiritual warfare for you. She does a lot of interceding and she also does have a ministry and I tune in to her ministry all the time. She also streams on um, YouTube live. Just an amazing woman of God, period. And then she loves passion and stuff that you know like yeah she's like my auntie in my head auntie paula white that's what i'd be calling her i love her thank you paula white ministries if you need encouragement and if you are fighting spiritual battles it could be personal spiritual battles or external spiritual battles with things coming against you she understands warfare and interceding I also love Pastor Osteen, Pastor Osteen and his wife at Joel Holstein Ministries. They're amazing. They're amazing. You know Pastor Osteen for being very encouraging and he has a gift where he encar his stuff is so practical and he uses the practicality of life but also incorporates the bible in it which is really easy but not as easy for us because like the bible is really practical living practical life but pastor Holstein has been gifted with an ability to just speak without the um religious um jargon and be able to i guess impart the word of God in a practical way which gets you it's not it's not any fancy stuff like Bible prophecy and all that stuff but it is so effective he'll say simple stuff and you're like damn wow yeah it, it, he is an effective speaker 
an effective teacher, an effective encourager, you, if you need encouragement to go through life, if you need to become more positive, if you need to learn life skills and apply the Bible practically over your life, Pastor Osteen Ministries, you cannot do it without him. Then I have to say, um, sorry, Pastor um, Heggy, I'm pretty sure you guys know him. He also has a ministry in um, Texas. I always say all the good ministries are in Texas. Oh, wow. I mean, when God comes, he's going to touch down there first. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, when he comes, we're all going to know he's omnipresent, right? He's not going to come to one state first and just like move through the states. It will be in the firmament. We will know. Anyways, um, Pastor Hagee, wow, he is, he is a powerhouse. When I say he's a powerhouse, he's a traditional pastor. However, he is very relevant and current and he preaches the word unapologetically. Like you, if you get offended by the word of God and what the Bible preaches, then he's not the ministry for you. And if you're a Christian, that means he's the ministry for you. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're really trying to walk with God and know the Bible, he knows the Bible. He does Bible prophecy as well. He has these series. That's how he does his um programming he has these series where he'll do different different themes of scripture very profound very innovative stuff that he does he has like a little um he likes like to do little drop backdrops with themes of whatever he's speaking about it he's just a really amazing man of God his entire family is a part of his his ministry he has a huge church he does stream um, online and he does have a um, broadcast on the television all of them I've spoken about they do broadcast on the television as well I cannot tell you like which network they um, stream on because like I really watch them on the internet um, yeah I guess that's what we all do nowadays but to those ministries I couldn't have done what I did without them they were like my warring buddies like when I was going through they were there with me going through like God always puts a specific word for his children. Like, when you are connected with the Spirit, it doesn't matter what you're going through. We're, we're all, go that's how you know that, like, you're a child of God. When a speaker could go up and you get a word, it could be a sentence or whatever, it could be the entire <laughs> sermon, and you get a word. I mean, you get a word specifically for your situation. Your neighbor gets a word for their situation because the Lord knows his people and he knows what we're going through. And he has sent his ministers, his people, his the big sheep, you know, the ones, the really experienced ones to help us through. So to these ministries, I thank you guys so much. If you all, if you already um, watch these ministries or participate, you know, with them, so, however, I mean, if you follow them on social media or so, like, I would definitely encourage you to really consistently make them a part of your life and also give in to them because they need, you know, your support financially to help, you know, strengthen their presence and to continue to spread the word of God and to help people who are suffering and people who are going through and just to spread the word of God genuinely generally and to encourage people of God so there are other amazing ones out there and some really amazing pastors and I like these ministries because they invite different speakers to come in and you're able to um you know 
see different influential speakers who maybe don't have such a I guess um, um, obvious platform as them because they're like really um, out there with the, I think they call them televangelists I don't like that term televangelists I don't they're evangelists they happen to um, have a prominence where they're able to um, spread the word of God through the media that, that I don't like the term televangelists they're they're evangelists they're ministers of God and thank you so much these ministries for uh, what you have what you're doing what you've done for me and what you'll continue to do for the children of God thank you guys so much all right that's me signing out bye <laughs>